This is a presentation that will explain a bit of history about navigation. This instrument is a sextant and was used and is still used by some people in nautical navigation. It has a scale of 60 degrees, a sixth of a circle, hence the name sextant, and it is used to calculate the exact position on the Earth's surface. It was in the 3rd century BC that the basis of modern navigation as such was set down. Hipparchus and Aristophanes provided that a system of longitude and latitude would be the key resource to gain a system to give the map of the world. The two were separated by less than a century. The position in latitude can be found from the altitude of the sun at noon with the aid of a table giving the sun's declination for the day. The altitude of the sun is calculated using the sextant. To find the position of longitude was more difficult at the outset of using this for navigation. This difficulty meant that early sea navigators relied on dead reckoning, which is inaccurate and could and did result in shipwreck. The sextant is used to measure the angle between a celestial body such as the sun, the moon or a star, and the horizon. With this information and the use of astronomical data and for the longitude accurate time, position can be charted. The method for defining longitude took centuries and involved some of the greatest scientific minds Galileo, Halley, Mascalini, and Harrison. Harrison is particularly important as his clock, the chronometer, provided a much more accurate system to coordinate the navigation. At sea, it was so accurate, the charting at sea was altered and was considerably improved upon. This allowed for better voyages and allowed for shipwrecking to be less common than when dead reckoning was employed.